So in this video, I thought I would talk a little bit about the artistry and the sculpting of Star Wars figures and how you can see different hands at work in different figures as the line progressed. I should say these are just my personal observations. It isn't inside knowledge of the actual Kenner employees who sculpted the figures, so I could just be reading into things a bit. That being said, I wanted to talk about a term from art history called contrapposto, which is an Italian word to describe a human figure with its weight on one foot. This pose is often associated with heroes such as the Statue of David, the idea being that the hero is so poised and confident that he has a relaxed posture. Think Luke when he's on the plank over the Sarlacc pit. Because he has a somewhat relaxed posture and demeanor, Luke reads as being a very cool customer. So there is storytelling involved in Contraposto. There are really just a handful of vintage Star Wars figures who have this, but here are the obvious figures that I see as having what I'm calling Contraposto. Luke Hoth outfit has it. He's clearly leaning on one leg in a relaxed posture. Black Bestman Security Guard has Contraposto. It's not always good guys that have it. Weequay has Contraposto. Even Reese has it. Luke Jedi has a slight Contraposto favoring one leg. And the same for Han Trenchcoat. To me, in these figures, it seems like a different hand was at work, a different artist than the one who sculpted original Luke Skywalker, for example, whose limbs are completely straight and a little robotic by comparison. And these contraposto poses also coincide with greater realism in the figures, in my opinion, say in the folds of their clothing and the more accuracy in their likenesses. It may seem obscure to apply a highfalutin uh, term from art history to little plastic figures, and perhaps it is, but I think it's reasonable to assume that some of the individuals at Kenner who sculpted these figures had an art background with this kind of knowledge and training. And to me, that's just one more reason to appreciate these toys. So what do you think? Do you like the few figures where there's a pose to them and they're sculpting? Or do you think an action figure should be completely free of a pose so that you can be free to create it with their articulation on your own with the, with the posability of the figure? Or do you think I'm just reading into this whole thing? Please leave a comment. If you like this video, check out my other vintage Star Wars videos and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.